if we've agreed that the self is out there or between us or between us, all of us, then social media amplifies exponentially the numbers of interactions we're going to have. Yeah. Uh, and so does that, are we entering a new world, so to speak, of the evolving self? Well, there's a transformation, right? I mean, you know, cinema died at the hands of television. <laughs> television has died at the hands of social media. And um, it's a good and a bad thing. And we shouldn't get carried away with social media, but it's very interesting what's happening. And it enables forms of collectivity to take shape. Uh, we think about the effects or the right. way in which social media, the role they've played in what happened in Egypt and elsewhere. It's fascinating and it's enabling. And it does, you get, you know, <laughs> protesters in Egypt sending pizza to workers in Wisconsin. You get strange things happening, <laughs> which are fascinating. Uh, but we mustn't get carried away. I li I'd like to pe people to get out a little bit more. <laughs> so I'm pleased you all came this evening because there's a sense in which, you know... <laughs> well, wait, there are people out watching us on the web, well, so I, don't, you know, don't ignore that. that <laughs> but they should be here. They really should be here. <laughs> you know, they, 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 there's something to be said for getting out of the house and <laughs> getting on the subway and going somewhere and meeting human beings in flesh. But we can, we can be sucked into a certain delusion about virtuality, which just means us sitting there, you know, like it can. Well, I mean, mm. to that extent, part of self is your imagination. And when yeah. you're in the virtual world, there's a lot more imagination than when you're face to face with individuals and I don't you know, know in the flesh. I don't know about that. I, no, I, you think we, no, I find face to face encounters much more, require much more imagination.